Hello everyone, welcome to today's Bible at the Beach video where we're continuing to study through Romans together. Uh, picking up where we left off last time, Romans chapter 6 verse 1. Check this out. The Apostle Paul says, after talking about how we're saved only by God's grace toward us, Paul says, well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when you were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our own sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin, for when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead, and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin, but now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you also should consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Love that. What a passage. Basically, once you've put your faith in Jesus to save you, you start living this new life where you're living in two realities, basically, is the idea. Where, you know, on the one hand, as soon as you put your trust in Jesus, you're made righteous with God by, by his grace right here and now, right? And yet, we also still wait for the hope of that in the future. As soon as you put your trust in Jesus, you're raised to new resurrection life through him. And yet, we also wait to be united with Christ in his resurrection in the future. Here and now, we've been crucified with Christ and freed from sin. And yet, we also have to be reminded not to be slaves to sin, don't we? Even in terms of the world itself, the old reality of this world has been judged and is passing away. And yet, the new reality, when Jesus returns, hasn't come fully yet. Being condemned for our sins has been dealt with, and that compulsion to sin has been broken, and yet sin is still around to tempt us and frustrate us, right? Death has been defeated by Jesus, but for now, mortality remains, right? The requirements to follow God's law, th that requirement is over, but humanity's desire to try to work our way to God is still around, right? Evil itself, the devil and such, that's all been defeated and disarmed, but it hasn't yet been destroyed. And so it still tries to ambush God's followers. Basically, there's this tension for followers of Jesus between this reality and the reality to come in the future. So if you've ever felt that tension, good news, you're not crazy. That is a thing, right? It's normal. It's part of following Jesus. There is a tension between what's already been fulfilled and what isn't yet completed until Jesus returns. Basically, for the Christian the reality of sin, rebellion, and condemnation kind of overlaps with the reality to come when Jesus will bring a time of righteousness and God's blessings. And Paul's point here is, hey, even though that Jesus returning reality hasn't come yet, live like people of that reality in this reality. Act like people do in God's kingdom while we still wait for it to come. As Paul goes on to talk even more about in what we'll plan to read next time. Hope to see you then. God willing.